welcome to another edition of what the fuck happenings in the YouTube atheist community and stick am fun. Ah, stick am. Whew, exhausting. Um, yeah, so I did hang in there most of the night. Last night, sort of interesting. Didn't record all of it, unfortunately. And it did get kind of funny at the end. Uh, because Jamie showed up from, you know, is something blah 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 his name. Um, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, got links to stuff, I think. Maybe, possibly, I don't know. But anyway, it was nice seeing him again. He had uh, issues with his health and such. But he's always been sort of a drifter. He's always popped in and out and what. Well, never mind that. Never mind that reference. Anyway, so that was sort of interesting. And then Karina. Karina was showed up. Um, she showed up last week, but I was gone, so my bad there. Uh, yeah, so I blew it. Uh, so anyway, it's really nice seeing her. She just gets lovelier and lovelier. Amazing. Anyway, just posted a pretty good video doing the uh, sexism stuff. That people just get way too uh, magnifying glassy. Uh, it is kind of ironic, you know, because most of the women I've known have hated women. And so it's like I'm the feminist and they're the whatever the opposite of that is, the unfeminist. And uh, it is kind of strange how the roles are. I mean, I hate the way men behave. I find them incredibly embarrassing, you know, from the capitalist pigs to the regular Bubba shithead who shows up at his NASCAR. Um, you know, the spitting, fat, farting pig of a man that is the average male. Um, so, yeah, I tend to be anti-male and so you know you're kind of stuck with being pro-female because you kind of only have these two choices and the trannies are okay but <laughs> yeah they're kind of fucked up too so yeah so there's no one to root for here it's the cats i go with the cats cats are good everything else sucks or something like that um but yeah it's just such a i don't know how much of that plays into it you know women resent what other women do and how other women behave and so they're hostile uh, I don't know but yeah the, the I, you know I guess the the real subject only focuses on these these women hater men you know we think they're being so oppressed by the horror of these women wanting everything um, and you know I just don't see the horror in the first place um, you know, the tiny bit of incentives that have been created to equal some of the old injustices out have been so minor. Um, I mean, you can hardly... There's just nothing to complain about. I'm not afraid of women uh, being in charge uh, if they want it. Uh, because they can't do any worse than men have done. <laughs> they really can't. Um, but yeah, there, and then the other side to this is, is that we do have these physical, you know, I'm making a video now and I really don't want to, I've already done this subject. But I mean, the fact is there are physical differences between men and women. We have our strengths and our weaknesses uh, that are sort of generic to the structure. And, uh, you know, judge me by what I say, not what I do, kind of a circumstance. Because I certainly, uh, you know, can sometimes behave uh, misogynistically in terms of something I might say or a joke or some other stupid thing and you're just like yeah but I don't have anything in my head anything in my philosophy that says that's right and uh, you know slowly but surely we are maturing I think uh, it just takes time to weed out the Neanderthals as they say uh, but anyway it is just kind of Irritating that it creates so much hostility uh, Because there's already enough conflict between I mean we already have enough trouble because of the differences and uh, You know the the added emotional fire that people create over a few poorly chosen words It's just such a waste of time, but anyway, it's, you know what else people this is what people do drama everywhere uh, so anyway, enough of that. So anyway, it's good seeing her. That's all I was saying. Samari was in the room. It was nice seeing her also. 
and uh, you know there's just people and such and whatnot. So it was a good evening, basically, mostly. I mean, yeah, I was still, you know, it wasn't the best because I just was kind of dull. But uh, you know, shit happens. I'm having my own issues. Um, so maybe better next time. Uh, but you know, at least I stayed. So at least I wasn't totally despondent and you know out of touch and with all that crap. So uh, I don't know why I have this shoe tying problem. Something I should be able to fix. A little ant. Another ant. Another ant. Another ant. Another ant. Another ant. Another ant. Everywhere. Lots of them on Earth. Anyway, okay. So what was the, what else is news? Oh, the Piro thing is just. Oof. Well, let's see if there's anything else that's stick him. Uh, Skyzer. Uh, yeah, we could keep going around the same circle. So I finally kicked him as always because he just never deals with the question. You, know, you put the metaphor to him or something, and he just evades it and goes somewhere else. And you know, you have to deal with these paradoxes, these problems, and you can't deal with them by going, but what created the first cell? Oh, that's bogus. People. And I've a lot How are you doing? Good, how are you? Yep. Yeah. Explaining that. People yeah. <laughs> on my path, how dare they? Anyway, somebody, some horse did this, I believe. Anyway, um, so let's see, what else do I have to mention? Nibble and Apom, you know, the usual thank you people for showing up. Um, I think there was some other news, but I just don't remember it. Maybe I'll remember it later. Maybe I won't. Uh, yeah, that was, you know, yeah, it was just, it was a pleasant enough evening. Um, yeah, I mean, well, it moved along, let's just say that, it moved along, yeah, that's good enough. So what else happened? Uh, alright, so yeah, the Piro thing is just this underlying, you know, whatever, pressure wave, <laughs> you know, or whatever, he likes waves, so yeah, it's like a wave of some kind of crap. But it's just this whole phoenix thing, you know, you just gotta somehow you have to rise out of these ashes and you don't know what the hell you're gonna come out of them. Anger, you know, bitterness, uh, you know, I don't know. It's just so hard to so hard to make sense out of it. And uh but we all know it's there. I mean you all you know, this is the risk of it's like when somebody bashes their brains open bum bungee jumping, it's not like you go, Oh, what a huge surprise. You know, you just kind of go, well, you know, you tied a rubber band on your feet and jumped off a bridge. What do you want? <laughs> you know, yeah, sometimes it doesn't work out too well. Uh, maybe you ought to find a different hobby. I don't do late now. But yeah, I mean, I'm just saying that, you know, these are the risks of this investment we make in every day of our life that, uh, you know, Something's gonna fall from the sky, figuratively speaking, and uh, crush you like a bug. Um, yeah, nothing to say to that. It's just that I'm just saying it's kind of just it comes with the territory. Uh, that's why I think the territory is stupid. Uh, yeah, seems kind of obvious. Uh, yeah, so there really isn't that much. Uh, so anyway, you know, just the usual video crap. Maybe I go through my history, I guess. There wasn't a lot of, frankly, videos were kind of shitty this week. I mean, nothing even to argue with. That, uh, whatever his name is, guy, Smiling Joe, is up to part 21, I think, on his anti-natalism and depression videos. And now he's just repeating himself. Of course, that would be inevitable. So he's re-arguing again how... It'll never happen. People will never. You can't stop the poor from reproducing. You can't, you can't, you can't. It's just such a lie. Uh, there's already civilizations, there's already cultures that would have negative population growth if they didn't import population. North America, I mean, you know, America being one of them. Uh, so it's uh, perfectly reasonable to project that, that uh, you know, if you can get the poor, uh, if you can put a, a couple of plug corks in them, 
uh, yeah, we win. It's already done. Most people are already behaving as antinatalists. Their behavior is already uh, what, what needs to happen. Uh, there's a dog without an owner. Oh, there it is. Okay. Anyway, um, so uh, it just seems like a, that's just the most vacant argument. The it's impossible bullshit. Hey, pup. Uh, so, uh, yeah, and, and it's just, a, again, it's just this, I'm not implying, I'm not saying stuff, and they're just overtly saying it. They're trying to paint, <laughs> they're trying to, you know, it's just, I hate that shit. I'm not implying. We sure are implying. This is such bullshit. Uh, and all of this psychobabble crap can always be turned on the majority. Just because your opinion is the popular opinion means absolutely nothing. And for every negative bias you can claim exists, I can just claim the positive of bias. So it doesn't, it's meaningless. Uh, argue the argument, argue the facts. Uh, you know, and you're not arguing facts when you talk about Buddha or Kamwada Vida or whatever, Krishna, Krishna bullshit. That's not facts. Uh, anyway, this is irritating. So anyway, I guess the point is I have made a couple of good videos. I did another Ephelis video. It's pretty good, right to the point. And yeah, there just isn't that much of the subject. Uh, just got to argue it, okay, I guess, a little more precisely. Uh, we're getting there. I got to do some writing. I just haven't, you know, time. Writing takes time. You have to think and do the scribbly stuff with the pen and whatnot. It doesn't just fall out of my head writing. Oh, boy, a lot of people out today. How you doing? Okay. Yeah, I lied. <laughs> yeah, I said everything's okay. Yeah, it really isn't. Right. There we go. Bicycles. You're busting their nuts. Silly thing to do, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, walking is so much safer. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't ride a bicycle on this stuff. Not unless I had like a, a nuclear spring-loaded super compass seat. <laughs> you know. Yeah. We're gonna screw some of your junk up. So anyway, where else can I go with this video? Um, you know the new smooth terrorist, uh, oh fake Sagan. Yeah, I just I hate his videos. Uh, yeah, he's, he's just I don't know. He's, he's, he's just, he's, it's like he's always, he's like he's standing on both sides of the fence. You know, he's arguing for particular flaws in civilization from a point of view that says there shouldn't be any civilization. I mean, those critiques don't mean anything if your alternative is, you know, let's all live like whatever, uh, dark lords of the tundra or something. <laughs> I mean, just... This is stupid. Uh, what else? Yeah, I guess I'll just leave it at that. Really hot, humid. Probably gonna rain on me on the way home. But we'll see. All right. Well, additions if necessary. Sorry. See, I'm still just not quite where I should be. Who I should be. Yeah, it's just a weird future. I can't can't really resolve it. I can't see it. It's all kind of mushy up there. Uh, so I'm not used to being this you know, absent. Uh, you know, a clear footing. Yeah. You know, it's like you reach a place where there's just no. Like the directions all look kind of fucked up. You know, if there was no path here, and all I had was this. Like, which way do you go? That doesn't look too good. Look at that tree, it's totally fucking fucked up. 
It's a maple too, surprising. No, it's some kind of, I don't know what that is, like an ashy thing or something. But man, that's got to be a pretty old tree. I mean, that's seriously, it's a big tree. I mean, seriously, you can't see that it's a big tree. <laughs> but it's a big fucking tree. I mean, it's not a redwood, but damn, come on. This is a big fucking tree. I mean, can you can you get it? Like if I go this, do this, this is a big fucking tree. Big. And it's really got some problems. It's got some ants living in it. <laughs> well, it's a big fucking tree. I, you know, all this time, I didn't even know a big fucking tree was sitting right there. That's a big fucking tree. That's a big fucking tree. <laughs> Man. It's, you know, it's funny. Like I said, I've been walking this path for 30 years. And uh, I never really noticed. Well, I might have noticed when I was 10 because there was less other trees. And I probably said, that's a big fucking tree. <sighs> well, actually, I didn't live here when I was 10. I lived here when I was 11. So I noticed when I was 11, maybe. But that's a big fucking tree. <sighs> yeah. So anyway, we got to see a big fucking tree. Yeah, that'll be a good title, right? It's a big fucking tree. That's a big fucking tree. It's a pretty good size one there, too. I don't know, maybe I'm a little, you know, that makes me make my vision thing, you know? I'm just no. that's a big fucking tree there, too. Yeah, that one's been there a while. That, I think, is an ash. They make baseball bats out of that shit. That is... A big frickin' tree. Might be an oak, actually. My mistake. Branches look like oak. But the bark looks like ash. I really gotta learn my trees better. I used to know that shit. It's kind of annoying. This is a tulip tree. Pretty sure. Nope, wrong leaves. I don't know what the fuck that is. Partridge tree. I gotta learn this shit again. All the skunk cabbage died. I guess it got too hot and dry. So what else is news? Uh, wow, that's really it. Yeah, sorry. This is this a whole added bit. Oh, look at that. It's a free bicycle helmet. And I'll see how long it lasts. I think somebody might have left it there to pick up later. But it should hide it a little better. Like, I could have hid it behind that tree there or something. Behind the rock. Kind of a dumb place to put it. But I really have no use for helmets. I gotta be me. I gotta be free. Blah, 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 blah. I got stung by a bee. Behind my knee. Uh... Oh, woe is me. Uh, I was looking at big tree. <laughs> yeah. Uh, forget about it. So anyway, I think we're done. I really do. I'm running out of space anyway. And my shoe untied again. Yeah. So, till it be the later. Sorry for, yeah, there was wasted time here. I really do appreciate your participation in my video interaction, and uh, I'm sorry to, uh, you know, kind of waste your time a little bit. I'll try to fix that. So, until next time. Ah, here's my video history for this week or so-ish. We'll just go down the list here. Oh, same old routine. So, the last two videos I watched are conference report and gray text complaining about debate style again so I did a walk and talk on that I'll publish later and um, yes well whatever this you know it's just it's sort of just bogus to complain about the style of the debate just make your arguments uh, you make them your way other people are going to make them their way and that's the way they'll be um, either we can communicate and make them opposing each other we can't but I mean this always throwing complaints flags 
that somehow somebody else is doing it wrong is just such bullshit. Um, the end game is persuasion in the end and what kind of meme survives. So we'll see who wins. And it's going to be about winners and losers, just like there's, you know, you either go to war or you don't go to war. You either have nuclear power or you don't have nuclear power. These are yes or no questions, just the way it is. Um, you can't sit on the fence forever. So anyway, uh, so anyway, this, this, this. And yeah, I don't know, whatever. Um, so he's on part 21. I haven't watched all of them, but um, yeah, it is getting kind of redundant and samey. People are going to breed. So he's just making some statement, get used to it. Like, okay, that's his fact. So in spite of the fact that most of the world's population is underbreeding, is breeding to extinction, <laughs> and that's a fact. Um, yeah, he'll just say that there is no way to ever change the mindset of the bottom 15%. They'll always be poor, they'll always be ignorant, they'll always be stupid. Um, they'll always breed recklessly and irresponsibly. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and I just say bullshit to that. It's like religion, it can eventually be exterminated as a dumb idea. Just as other dumb ideas have been exterminated. So, um, bullshit to you. Um, bogus argument. Uh, so this is a Jay Sounder, My Misery and Me video he did. Um, just kind of a joke video about doing some research on killing DNA molecules. Sounds like most of the websites you go to are just how to cover up a murder or something. <laughs> you know, how to, how to clean up DNA in your house or on the body. Um, so it's kind of funny. Um, yeah, Zom gets a good video, 18 minutes it says. She said it was 21, so she cut something out. Um, but anyway, uh, gender roles, trolls, and sexual harassment. And she does, you know, usually style there with the popping little, little edits and stuff and the clever little zingers and whatnoters. And, uh, yeah, I really ought to try to do videos that are a little, you know, but they are entertainment. She does a good job, you know. She makes a boring subject and almost interesting. And I, you know, it is almost interesting. I mean, it is kind of, you know, all right, we got it already. But whatever, it's, it's you know, it's a good video. It's just kind of a shit subject, you know, this whole fight between men and women is always such an annoying subject because, uh, yeah, there's just too many sides to it. There's too many facets, too many people with too many perspectives, and you have to respect people who have been harmed and have resentments, and so, you know, there's a lot of shit out there to deal with. But anyway, enough of that. I just, I, not much I can do with it. Laura Layla did some poem for Piero, um, whatever. I'm a big poetry fan myself, but whatever. Um, oh, there's my, my Piero video. Um, uh, Stickham video, that was kind of actually a funny one, I think. Well, I think it was, I don't remember. Professor Anton, I don't know, this is like a, two days ago, so I don't know what why it's one year ago. I don't know why these are popping up, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, whatever. YouTube, thank you. Um, I did watch this Matt video, and um, yeah, I think my my brain shut off as I don't remember any of it. Um, I don't know why this to be serious from three minutes ago comes up, but whatever. It must be on autoplay or something. Anyway, so here's the other guy, 20. This is version 20. Regardless of what you and I do, we are going to be humans again. So it's this idea that nobody can change anything. There's no point in talking about it because you can't change anything. Ideas don't change anything. Conversation doesn't change anything. I mean, it's just a, it is a non-starter argument. You're making arguments on the internet about how not to argue. I mean, it's just it's just nonsense on its face. Um, you know, to tell me that some dopey ideas. Like, you know, the, the bottom line is is that everybody could think just like me. Everybody could think just like you. It just is a matter of circumstance and upbringing and conditioning. These are the things that make you think what you think. And so it is silly for anybody to say that everybody couldn't go one way. But the argument I'm going to make is they're going to tend to go in a logical direction, not an illogical direction. So as more and more facts get revealed, the truth gets plainer and plainer, and I would argue that this is the destiny, just as somebody I think could argue that slavery was going to die inevitably, because it's just that stupid. Uh, legacy of Nazi, I don't know what that is. Uh, Tupac, I don't know what the fuck he's doing there. 
been, you know, formerly artist, formerly known as One Pack or something. I don't know. Um, anyway, time. Laura Layla video. I don't remember it, but I probably didn't care for it because it's all getting to be such, such nothing connected to reality kind of stuff. Um, nightmares. I don't know what that was. Uh, so there's the smooth terrorist. I don't know what I, I don't remember watching. Oh, this was a guy responding to him. Yes, so there was an argument between fake Sagan and this guy, but this guy was actually fairly boring, so I didn't even watch his whole video. I really don't, you know, the whole, you know, people defending um, our infrastructure, basic infrastructure now being owned by corporations, I just think are idiots. I mean, if you don't get that the public square has moved on to the internet and that we now don't have constitutionally guaranteed rights of free speech anymore is a practical fact. Google is a private company, a private search engine, and they don't have to fairly give you access to an audience and it's just kind of bullshit on its face is we don't have a constitution anymore if we have corporations owning the public square that just doesn't make much sense uh, I mean corporations that aren't obligated to operate in the public interest um, I don't know what this is this is a great text video completely pointless I don't know talking about how often he cleans wax out of his ears or something uh, this is that Weldon guy doing something about socialism, but, you know, it wasn't too interesting. Uh, there's the fake Sagan video. Um, I don't know, he might have gotten onto the subject of Google censorship, but I don't think he did. <laughs> he talked for 20 minutes about all kinds of crap. The To Be Serious Puro video. Um, wasn't, they just had a picture of a little quote from Chief Dan George, so, you know, it's one of my favorite people so that was made the video worthwhile for me um <laughs> but you know anyway it's you know, there's nothing you can say to Piero. I mean it's just you know it's, it's like you know I think I say in another video it's the phoenix thing you know you just have to rise from the ashes and uh hope you can come close to flying again or whatever the right metaphor would be that you haven't lost too much of your mojo stuff and whatnot. um and then there's some depression guy again. This was, I guess, version 14. Dog eat dog. Life is what it is. So again, this life is what it is. It's not the subject. The subject isn't whether life is what it is. The subject is that we as human beings with intelligences now have control. And life is because we say it should be. It's no longer something out of our control. It's within our control to decide whether we are going to regenerate um, perpetual generations of the mechanism. Um, so anyway, uh, this was forever. I did do a response video to two girls talking, and uh, I don't know why I'm butting in, but I, you know, I'm butting in. That's what I do. Uh, Puro in different sky video. Yeah, this was kind of sad. Her, she just lost her father. To, you know, so it's father daughter kind of syndromes but in reverse and such uh, warbles I didn't care for this video some people thought they liked it but I didn't I didn't watch it all the way through so maybe he got rational at the end but he usually just keeps talking about his own bullshit everything is through the context of well I've told people to do this and I told them to do that and they didn't listen to me and I was right and they were wrong I mean that's you know whatever um, he's always attempting to prove some sort of credibility through um, irrelevant examples um, so that was Piero's video about his daughter so very sad but it was interesting how he, he blended the image over his own image and you know so, well whatever it's just very sad circumstance so this is a good video by by Jay Sounder my misery and me just pointing out that it's this DNA molecule this word DNA this is a meme you know and so to the more we say these letters, DNA, maybe the more people will just think about what happens here. It's just a molecule replicating, and everything that we are is because of changes taking place to this stupid replicator. Uh, it's dictating the game still. Even with our intelligence, we seem to not be capable of getting past the games it plays with us. 
I don't know why this is Professor Anton from four weeks ago. I don't know exactly why this is in here. Um, another one from the Smiling Joe. Didn't look too smiley in that video. Life is a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Again, it's all cliches, all bibble babble. Doesn't have anything to do with the subject. Um, so, yeah, so what's the point? Uh, another Piero video from uh, Zombie Picture Show guy who, uh, you know, did lose his son too. So he knows of what Piero lives. Um, great text. Uh, yeah, another Piero video just saying, you know, all you can say is shit. Uh, yeah, shit. Uh, Smith Harris again, um, drama and the new atheism, I mean, it's basically arguing that he doesn't care for the tactics of secular humanists or whatever, and it just is like, so lame, religious kooks are religious kooks, you should just call them religious kooks, it's not a big deal to call them religious kooks, nobody's suggesting, we put them in concentration camps, what people are suggesting is they're irresponsible lunatics, and we should do what we can to get those crazy, deluded nutballs, um, any way we can diminish their effect on um, rational progress and sensible conversation we should do. They're crazy motherfuckers. It's just stupid. They both, they're, they're, why should I, I have, I, I wouldn't let somebody drive a Greyhound bus who believed Bugs Bunny was real. I wouldn't let him drive the bus I'm sitting in. Why would I let a bunch of religious nuts dictate what the human race will do? That would be stupid. Why should I concede to stupidity? And religion is stupidity. Um, science and philosophy, this conference report is like a horse. You have to start with the foundations of a house. Um, yeah, well, whatever. I don't think you do that at all, Mr. Conference Report. You're a propagandist like the rest of them. Um, what a morning. Yeah, this is some guy talking about shit. I don't know. It wasn't too important or interesting. Uh, this Piero video from... Uh, Forever with films, old fan. Uh, it's nothing, like I said, nothing she could say either. It's really hard to say anything. Um, networks of suffering, this conference supports um, another one of these videos. I'm not trying to diminish the importance of suffering. Well, yes, you are. That's all the video was about. Um, Professor Anton Life Eternal was a year old video. I don't know exactly why it's in here. Near death experiences, another who cares. Uh, here's your chance, TJ Does Life video, yeah, another, ask me stupid fucking dumb ass questions again and again and again, another question video, fuck, uh, that was the sloppy update video I did, that's all YouTube deserves, uh, watch this CNN report on suicide and this group that helps people, you know, do it themselves without teaching them how to do it themselves. Well, anyway, and this stupid Sergei Gupta guy, who I really hate, just basically um, cheated the argument all over the place. It's just a propaganda piece, but that's what news has become. Fuck CNN for hiring that turd. Um, Death to America. This is old TJ video. Somebody else posted. Amazing Taroja, I guess. Uh, this contest, the end of the contest, yeah, Fred and Jay, yeah, I didn't win. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I got any votes. Uh, fuckers. Uh, she let the people decide. Yeah, uh, she should have just decided. Then I would win. Um, <laughs> you know, but anyway. Uh, zombie picture show, I think, won. I didn't go look at the final results. It was all too depressing and humiliating. But, uh, yeah. Uh, my video did suck, I'll concede. It was quick and sloppy, but still, I'm so much more popular. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> didn't do me any good this time. Uh, at least once a month, he has a great text talking about some more of his bodily habits or something. Uh, it's Feta explaining his anti-natalism in the context of conference report statements, uh, but whatever, it's all mushy-mush to me. How to run a successful business. I don't know what the fuck that is. Why I'm not anti natalist Yeah, so this guy, I did do a video response to him. I mean, he was polite and stuff, and I was a little harsh, but um, the, the arguments are just annoying. I mean, they have been already argued, and it's just having to re-argue the same stuff over and over again is really annoying. Um, that is Hannibal the Vector. 
Victor 13, um, just another slander video, Broken Mech, he links to Broken Mech video, which is always, you know, whatever, Holocaust images or something. Um, we must hate the poor to love them. I mean, these people just don't really want to understand what happens in the real world. Um, poor people breed their children into poverty. They don't create any faculties or any functions, any anything that gives their kids any realistic chance of escaping the poverty. There's only a 1 in 100 chance that they're going to go to college or do any of that kind of crap. So they're just sentencing their kids to the same slavery. And why should they be applauded for that? Uh, you know, it's just bullshit. Poor people suck. Um, I mean, most of them are just dumb, irresponsible, reckless fucknuts. That's what most poor people are. All right? Now, you've you got a counter-argument. You want to demonstrate how they're all conscientious, upright citizens. No, most of them are stupid, dumb fuckers. Um, okay, an effort of will, Tom and John. I don't know, this was something about Scientology. I mean, who really cares? I certainly don't. Uh, it's a feel-good philosophy, empowerment philosophy. It's not a religion. Fred and Gary contest, uh, zombie picture show. Yeah, I watched that. Um, yeah, it was a little bit funny. I don't know, blah, blah, blah. Some reasons why I would be valid to reject. I don't know what the hell that was. Why I'm not an anti nihilist So this was a conference report video. It created a lot of, a lot of energy in the uh, anti nihilist community. So he did get his response was for that. Uh, another Fred and Gary thing. This was some economics video. Not terrible. Uh, Hannibal Barker guy arguing with Heroin Church. Boy, really dumb arguments in here. I'm surprised Heroin Church didn't do a response video, but this was, this was a dumb video. I mean, even for Hannibal's dumb standards, it was dumb. Anti nihilism and depression guy again. Unendurable suffering. Our morbid anti natalists themselves. Well, so whatever. He's again just keeps saying that um, our philosophy is somehow illegitimized because it's depressing. You're not allowed to have a depressing s philosophy. By this guy's definition, essentially, if your philosophy is depressing, I mean, if it has some fatalistic element, if it has some negative, you know, um, aspect, you know, if you say nuclear power plants are just never going to quite work because they're just, it's too many things that can go wrong. No, you're, you it's invalidated because you're being negative. That's all he's doing. He's just teletubbing all over the place. He's just saying, um, don't worry, be happy. And if you're ever critical, you must be depressed. <laughs> it's just, it's just crap. Um... Stop whining DNA cheerleaders derived energy video. I don't think I thought that was too impressive, but I don't remember. Um, this was some TED Talks. I think it sucked. Uh, I don't remember it. <laughs> yeah, that's how much it didn't impress me. Um, Methusian ass antinatalism can't will the will. Uh, this whole Methusian thing I don't really go for either. Who cares? Uh, Grace did a weird video, but you know, she, that's the kind of video she does, they are kind of weird. So I didn't entirely get it, but whatever, at least I watched it. It has my website address in it, so that was nice of her. Uh, Pat Condell, Ugly World, I didn't see that, I don't know who this guy is. Oh, that's Kane, it was sort of Brett Keane, so it was some sort of Brett Keane video, and I think I just said, whatever. Uh, move along. Uh, Antinatism, Depression again, you are what you eat the morbid antinatalists again um it's another cliche doesn't mean anything it says nothing about what it is to have a an intelligence and to logically process um factual information i mean it's just it's all cliches i mean he has gone to the trouble to make all these videos he's written up a little bit of stuff for each one and it's just just drivel just cliches uh, order in chaos, uh, you know, there's no sense in any of these video titles, even order in chaos, oh please. Um, Fred, Shane Dawson, this is another Brett Keane video, uh, just name dropping, I think. Uh, blowing up the earth, Jay Sounder, that was a good little video, he blew up the earth in a few different ways. Uh, I don't remember this one, so can't say much about it. 
Uh, Pink Boone, not a fan of the conditional argument in which I talk about what I've been up to. Yeah, that was okay, but I don't, you know, I, I am kind of a fan of, I'm a fan of any kind of argument. If it gets the job done, I'm a fan of it. Uh, fuck you very much, I don't remember this. Gray video, that was two months old, that's why I don't remember it. I don't know, don't know why that's on my list, because I don't remember seeing it this week. Anyway, um, as anti-natalism based on faith, so here we go again, is anti-natalism based on faith? Yes, yeah, the faith in science, faith in a couple of scientific conclusions, abiogenesis and um, evolution, four billion years of it, that's what it's um, dependent on and based on. Laura Layla time, I, you know, more of this time question mark, you know, like let's make it a mystery, it's not a mystery, it's pretty reliable stuff, time. Um, magical believing conference report more of this what's the point of this bibble babble I don't see any how to run a successful business I don't know what the hell that's in here either for I don't recall that um, Sky's a response video I did see it I just don't remember it all that well cell phones as environment I don't know professor Anton don't remember seeing that low life at it happens don't remember that this one I already, Socialism Rocks, I think I already mentioned that. These Days Original Song, don't remember that. Uh, Legacy of Nazi, I don't remember that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even see this, Existential Cat, Space Oddity, David Bowie cover. I'll have to see that, I guess, because um, I don't remember seeing it. But it's on my list, like I did see it. What's well, a month old, yeah, so I don't remember that. I mean, I might have remembered it, but I don't remember it because I don't remember Bowie songs, but... There's a Skyzer video, and then the Matt video, great text, more of the Smiling Joe, Heroin Church, and um, whatever his name is, um, Federalist, no, he's, that's the other guy, well, whatever his name is, the Anarchy uh, Racist guy, um, having some kind of conversation. Uh, the sugar glory guy. Uh, yeah, I did a response video to him. Uh, you know, um, just, you know, nonsensical argumentation. Uh, death swallows us all. Derived energy, clown at the end. Uh, right to die. Right thing to do, sorry. Uh, yeah, that was gray video. It was pretty good. He did a gray video. He did a gray. Here's the intelligent design gray video. Blah, 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 come down the list here. Foolish Productions, guys. Yeah, he's pretty irritating. This rocking Mr. E guy is really annoying. I should have done a response video, but I just didn't have time when his video came out. So it didn't happen, but really a dumb video. And uh, there's Fringe Elements. That's the other guy. Heroin Church's response to Fringe Elements. Yeah, Bambi, too. I didn't, I didn't see that. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know they made a remade Bambi. You know, say it's gonna rain now. Oh, yeah, thank you and such, lightning and such. So anyway, running out of time, and I think this is about enough, right? Yeah, it's hours and hours of this shit. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to go that long. I should do less of these, or I should do them better, or I should only do people who matter, or <laughs> I should, I should something. It's probably on me. I have to go check some pumps if it rains. That's what I should do. Let's go look at the radar and see what it's doing. You might find that semi-fascinating. Do, 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 do. Damn, power went out before, so my photo frame needs to be rebooted. Uh, my movies aren't running. Dun, 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 waiting on the radar picture. There he is. Oh, so oh, I'm right there. So the big blob is just a coming, just a coming to hit me. Just a coming right now. <laughs> yeah. So who knows? Power might go out and all that crap. It's pretty violent weather coming. Should be quick though, hopefully. All right. So anyway, enough said. <laughs>